Jessica from Peace Love Books and same here with the beginning of a new vlog. It is currently very cold outside. It is the weekend of, I don't even remember what date. Today's the 12th. Um, oh, it's the 14th already. I know that a lot of people are in like a cold front right now. A lot of people got snow, which I'm very jealous of. Uh, we barely have any snow outside, but I decided to start a kind of quick reading vlog where I just read a few books and I'm going to be reading new releases. So I have two arcs and I'm supposed to be getting a couple more arcs in January, but they're for February release. So I don't know when they're coming. I don't know if you guys follow me on social media, but I recently started a book blanket where I'm crocheting, it kind of matches my outfit today, a book blanket where every row is correlated to a star rating of what I read. So I have eight books that I've done so far on here and I've done two four star reads. So pink is four star because I figured I'd read the most four star reads and pink's my favorite color. So I was like, what color do I want to show up on this most? Green is three star. So I've actually had two three star reads, but then I had two five star reads in a row. So blue is five stars. I was between purple and blue, but I really like how the blue is turning out. And then I had two more four star reads. So I'm in the middle of my second row of my four star read. So after my five star read I had four I had three four star reads in a row so I'm on my third row of four star reads and then I get to do a five star row so I do plan on working on this today a little bit so that I can get caught up on what I have read so I will be doing another pink finishing my last pink row and then doing a five star row for Requiem by Kelly Hart and then I do want to make a little stuffed cow I don't know if I'm gonna do that today I might but I am currently physically reading though I'm talking about that because I'm going to start my audiobook I'm reading The Summer You Found Me by Elizabeth Work, which is very interesting because the heroine is the ex from the previous book and she is a recovering drug addict she is four months sober a big part of why their relationship didn't work in the previous book is because she did have a death of a child so definitely know that she is not a likable character though because she was horrible to her husband she cleared out his bank account and she disappeared without a trace she didn't talk to him to be fair he did not handle the loss well either like they both didn't cope well with that so now she's in town staying with his best friend and that's Beck right there I love I love Beck so much he and her have always had a connection and he's always been really into uh, in tune with her and closer to her than all of those other friends and so they actually met and there was a little flashback in here that was like what would have happened if we met first before if she didn't meet Caleb first her ex and she's not she's not doing well though she's back in town and she's actually living with Beck and she's determined to get Caleb back Caleb's madly in love he fell in love with the previous book and it really hurts her though because he fell in love with a single mom so now he has twins that he gets to take a lot of time with and she's like is that why he likes her and she is not a good person she is doing things that's a little vindictive a little sneaky so she's not nice but that's the whole point of her character and i'm definitely intrigued to see how her and beck make it work because beck is very frustrated and he's trying to not like her but give her space but also be there for her and it's really hard for him so this is just definitely such an interesting read so far it's definitely angsty because like she's still trying to win her ex back and it's his best friend and he likes her so loving that but i'm going to be reading loving romeo by laura pavlov i have the audio for this so i'm very excited to start because i'm going to be crocheting and then i think i'm going to do my puzzle for a little bit and we'll see if i try to tackle making a cow I'm trying to crochet more. I got a bunch of yarn. It's sitting right there. I have more yarn to pick up from Joann's because they keep on having amazing sales and more coupons. And I'm like, if it's two, $2 a skein, why would I not buy it? So I did buy some backup. I bought more pink because I'm already like through a lot of this pink and I'm not even done with January yet. So yeah, those are my plans today. So I will be updating you as I read. And so I'm going to read these two and probably one more book. So we'll see what I end up reading. <music> So it is three o'clock now. I've been doing 
a lot. I did my puzzle as I showed you. I had a little snack at an apple and the dogs finally came out of my sister's room. She's sleeping now because she worked last night and she works tonight. She's a night shift nurse. So they love sleeping with her when I'm not sitting on the couch. So they came out, went to the bathroom for the first time since this morning. Darcy is, is here. Can you see her? Hey. Anyways, I think, so I have five hours with the audio and I think this was a nine hour audiobook. So I'm almost halfway through. I'm flying through this. I did the dishes. The best thing about having an audiobook is that I do so much that I normally put off. So like yesterday I had to listen to the entirety of an audiobook for my Patreon book club. And so I was like doing my laundry and I was doing the dishes. So I just put dishes away. What are you doing, Darce? Hey. And that's why I've listened so much. I'm about to actually do some work real quick for Forever and Always. But this one is really good so far. It's Hate to Love, which I was a little nervous about because I don't super love Hate to Love. And I don't super love when they're opposite the track. Like one of them super rich and one of them like didn't grow up very privileged. Because a lot of the times it's like, do I feel bad about this <laughs> the heroine who's like, everybody hates me because I'm rich, but I really do work hard. I'm like, okay, cool. But you're so like really rich. Like you've had a lot of opportunities that given to you. And she though has a really hard past because trigger warnings definitely for drug addiction and assault she was assaulted by someone in her past that her parents are trying to cover up and because it's, it has to do with like a business arrangement with her family and her brother is an addict and she is trying to give her brother the benefit of the doubt really love him given everything he needs but he's harmful to her not physically but he cannot be trusted and she's having a really hard time grappling with that and the hero he has been hurt by her family in the past so he absolutely hates her because of her family but i love the way laura does small towns and friend groups so typically we have like family group chats in her two series her honey mountain series and her cottonwood cove series in this series it's a group of guy friends who are all always texting each other and one of them's a single dad so the hero in here likes to babysit the kid he's adorable I forget how old he is but like he's old enough he's like I don't know if he's like eight or something um to have like a really fun personality which I really like the hero has to train for a fight so he had only been a professional like boxer for a couple of fights and then stopped because his dad passed away and he just has a gym now but someone is really put into the public like I want a rematch with this guy I want to fight this guy and has taken it so extreme to publicity that the hero finally decides to give in as long as he gets a lot of money out of it so they did a really great deal and he is going to fight this guy and so I'm a little concerned how it's I don't know if they're gonna have him win or lose I have no idea but he is training and she has her own coffee shop in town that she worked really hard to open and she um, is like helping him with his meals so she I think was like a nutrition major and she's like I you seem exhausted like here's some shakes and here's like great meals for you to like eat while you're training so they're working together that way and then he, she wants to have self-defense lessons and he's like why and so now he's like trying to dig into her past and like they're definitely into each other and he really feels protective of her and it's really funny because his friends like poke at him I really love the friend group dynamic of this so really loving this so far but I'm gonna go do some work and then I didn't get to crochet it. So then I'm going to work on my blanket and then we'll see uh, what else I get up to. But definitely could finish this today. Like I only have five hours of the audio and I listen on three times speed. So we'll see if I finish this today. I just finished and it looks like I'm adding another five star row to my blanket so I just caught up with my last read let me show you real quick so last book I read and finished was Requiem by Callie Hart which is blue our five star reads for me look how many blues I have so far so many blues and pinks which it's turning out so pretty and I'm loving it. But so I finished Loving Romeo, I read it all in a day and I'm giving it five stars, maybe 4.75. I do think it was a really good start to a series. She set up the series so well because the friend group was one of my favorite parts of it and how protective they were of each other and how supportive they were of each other. Definitely very sports. At one point he was running like seven miles and she was riding her horse next to him to like encourage him and keep him motivated. 
I loved that part. I really liked how much we had of the fight at the end and there was a little bit of mystery happening between who was trying to scare certain people. I don't want to spoil it, but I really liked it and the heroine had a lot both of them had a lot to their stories. The heroine had a lot regarding her family. I really liked how she put up her boundaries with her family, especially her father, and how things played out there, and how there wasn't, there was like kind of a third act breakup, but not really. And I appreciated how it was like a not really breakup because the hero was like scared about something, but it wasn't like an official breakup, which is good. And it was like super intense at the end, which I really loved. So the whole small town aspect was really great. It was just a really, really good start to a series, and I'm very excited oh i don't know if i want to say that at the end of the audiobook it does say whose book is next don't want to spoil it for you but very very excited so this book comes out this week so it should be out by the time this video goes up so definitely check out laura's new book loving romeo i did really enjoy the audiobook i think she just writes the best small town romances in her series only get better i really overall like honey mountain was like a solid four star series cottonwood Cove was like a solid 4.5 star series because after the storm the last book of that series was like one of my favorite books of the entire year last year so good this one didn't have the same kind of angst but it's definitely a really good hate to love and we have a heroine who owns her own coffee shop who's from a very wealthy family and the hero who owns his own gym and they're like neighbors with that and he is so protective i don't know if i mentioned that he is so protective over her and i love that about him so five stars 4.75 because it's not like after the storm level now i'm like comparing everything to after the storm but so good around up to five so i am going to head to reading sprints i have those tonight on my channel and i will read more of elizabeth at work but while we chat i'm gonna add another row to my blanket mm. lily's right behind the camera and she's not amused um hello i am so sad i have no more christmas tree behind me no more christmas but I am 50% into this book, so I want to give you an update, Elizabeth O'Rourke, and the heroine is still not likable, and she keeps on doing something that I'm like, this is obviously going to blow up in your face, <laughs> so I'm waiting for that to happen, but it's definitely very angsty because, like, he really likes her, and he's liked her since when she was dating his best friend, like, before she even got married to her husband. It is really, really sad, though, because she is still really not coming to terms with her the loss of her child even though it's been i think three years now she was at the anniversary of like the three-year death so she is still never able to cope with that and it's hard for her because like her husband was always her reason for wanting to get better and her drive to do that so now she's like if he doesn't want me like why am i trying and so that's why she's like so desperate to get him back even if it means hurting people especially beck who she's living with right now and like you're like well how is this gonna work so I can see some people not loving this book because she's so unlikable, but I'm really enjoying it. I like it a lot better than the second one. The second book gave three stars, the first book gave five stars. So this one just has a lot more complexity to the romance. And I am always intrigued when an author writes an unlikable heroine because we are so hard on heroines. So as like readers collectively, but we'll see how it goes, but I'm gonna read some more. I do have to watch Vampire Diaries with my sister though. So we'll see how much of this I get done tonight. We'll see. Hi guys, I'm here to close out this vlog because I finished this book. I'm gonna stick to two releases for this video just to keep it a little shorter. I'm used to wanting to cram like five books into a vlog and that just gets stressful for me let me know how many books you like to see in a vlog i've done ones where i had one book i've done like five or six i've done in the middle so let me know but these are two new releases this one i'm talking about elizabeth the work one comes out i think next week laura pavlov's comes out on thursday I don't know if the days these are coming out, but they are new releases for January 2024. And the Elizabeth Work one, I'm giving 3.5, rounding up to four. Because, like I said, I think I already told you, I like it better than book two, but less than book one. Book one was a 4.55 4 star. Book two was a three star. So this one, I liked better. I think that it's hard to judge a book when the characters are so unlikable because the heroine does grow a lot. And I really did feel for her and everything she was going through. She lost a child, and that was really really affecting her and her grief and how she was going to cope with it and she thought that her ex was like the key to everything was the key to her wanting to stay sober to having her daughter back then to having like a second chance and 
Her daughter was her only happiness and she was ripped away from her and so she wants to feel that happiness again and she feels like her ex is the only solution to that which is really hard because Beck has literally been in love with her like since she's been with her husband since they started dating so they've had just this really strong bond and I really loved Beck's character he is definitely someone also very like hardened and closed off and he does not baby her at all he really pushes her and he wants the best for her though and so it was just like a lot of push and pull and like not a lot of communication so that's the way their characters were supposed to be though so i just appreciated the journey that they went on and the angst of the romance this whole series is angsty i still think the first book is super angsty this is just very different from what else elizabeth O'Rourke has written that i've read so no this one deals with some very very traumatic experiences for our characters and the heroine is dealing with a lot i mean we do get a scene where she's contemplating just doing drugs again because of that feeling she gets she just can escape all the horrible things in her life and then she has to think about really what's keeping her sober and what she's living for so just know that but i really love the end and like the support system she ended up building for herself and how it was not just like fixed very easily it took them a lot of time to fix and she had to like really fix herself first so i really appreciated that so 3.5 rounding up to four but definitely check these two out when they release loved loving romeo five stars for that one so i hope you enjoyed this vlog let me know if you're gonna read these or if you've read them what your thoughts are i would love to hear and that's all i have as always thank you so much for watching and have a good day bye